Good morning viewers, so we're in Dover and we're going to go meet some folks today I'll just show you out the window They were actually filming uh, a Willy Wonka movie, Warner Brothers are here There's been a lot of vans and there's, what are the caves called that they're possibly filming in? Esplanade. Esplanade. Uh, we think the filming in the Esplanade, which was some tunnels that were opened recently by airbexes and then they were sealed up almost straight away. And there's a lot of their vans are down in that area. So we might see some of those as we're out and about today. That is the lovely port of Dover. Quite a calm day today. We're going to go up to St. Martin's Battery now, so we'll see you up there. There we go, is this look? This is who we're going to meet. It's IKS. So we've been planning this for a few months now. And uh, we've finally done it. We're going to meet IKS Exploration today. Howdy, folk. How are we doing, folk? Yeah, good. good. <laughs> yeah. Nice to see you. Good nice morning. You. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, nice yeah, to right, meet yeah. you. Yeah. And you? Can we see that pillbox first? Yes, please, yeah. So, I've met Ian and Chris, and we're going to go look at a, a pillbox down here, yeah? Yeah. The pillbox we're going to look at is a Dover quad type, not usually seen elsewhere in the United Kingdom. Built to a different standard due to the elevation over the dockyard, this modified version of a Dover type square pillbox was likely damaged by enemy bombing in World War II. Oh yeah, do you see the back of it? Yeah, I haven't seen this for a few years, so it's a bit of a... Yeah, like that. That's got to have been hit, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I would say so, yeah. Maybe the shell hit down, down here. Yeah, to break concrete like that. I, I would it, say it's so. It's too far down to be, you know, trying to demolish it or anything. Yeah. Yeah, there's an indentation in the floor here. Seen that. They've actually added it. Well, it up. Yeah, to prop it. Yeah. yeah, I think that would have been hit because that's probably best part of a foot thick of reinforced concrete. Yeah. And it doesn't tend to just. And it's gone, doesn't it? Yeah. And if we judge it on the pillboxes of well, everywhere else, there's one over there, isn't there? A type 23, I think it is, and that's in good condition still. Where's that one? Uh, up near up the. Top. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't say where because I can't remember what it's here? called. <laughs> Some ice battery. The whole, the whole top half's moved. Oh, it has, isn't it? Oh, it's been lifted up and then dropped again. Well, yeah. So the whole, th the whole thing's moved. That lump behind you, Chris, is like pushed out a bit. Yeah. That would take some doing. There's got to be, hasn't it? A force, you know, explosion I would think there. So, That's pushed yeah. it this way. That's been a shell hit. Yeah. Yeah. So to come to a place like, you know, years ago when I was little, come to places like this, didn't really think about it. You, you, you do it when you're doing stuff like this, like exploring and looking into the history. You sort of being there for like hours yeah. looking at it, yeah. sort of thinking. Yeah, for it to be damaged in this way, that could that could only be a hit. So what sort of weapon would have been through there then? Just a Vickers MMG or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's got great feet. That might be dirty graffiti, folks. So, we're going to have a look at St. Martin's battery, yeah. Excellent. Let's go, go, go. St. Martin's Emergency Coastal Artillery Battery originates from an 1880 coastal gun emplacement that was heavily modified in the beginning of the Second World War. This resulted in three mountains, each fitted with a six inch gun. A concrete and brick canopy provided shelter to the rear of each gun mounting, which also housed ready-use magazines, command, admin and accommodation areas. A deep shelter was constructed in the 1891 magazine, behind the battery. Originally called uh, Western Heights Battery, ah, and they right. changed it. Yeah. It used Napoleon at times and then upgraded for the Second World War. Yeah, so there's been a large calibre gun here on this mountain. But you can see the original Victorian one around here. Because originally it was out, this was not here. And all this is in concrete infill. 
This is all Second World War. Yeah, and addition. This is the original Victorian. Yeah. All oh, right, so it was Victorian, then it's been added to and modified for the Second World War. Yeah. Wow. So this would have been really much lower, much lower. Probably about. You can see when you go around the bottom from that part of the height. Yeah. When you go around that way, you can see the original line, the railway line, and the gun would have turned on. Yes. Oh, it's wow. very interesting actually that is. Yeah. Definitely. Shows you the depth. Alright, so again this is second world war put in. Yeah. And then you've got the Victorian magazines. I think it's further over, Chris. Here. Yeah. So this is the other gun position, this one. There's three of them. One, two, three. And these are the rails, the gun, oh, yeah. the Victorian gun with a slid on. But obviously, Second World War, they, they left them in, they just filled them with concrete. And goes yeah, right they, around. they didn't require these rails. No. Oh, wow. But you can see the depth of all that infill. Yes, built it up to get the elevation. Whether they the... put rubble in there and then concrete on top. I doubt yeah. that's fully concrete. I don't know, that's a big old gun, isn't it? You, you, yeah, you, well... You want some decent foundations. Shaking about. You don't want to be firing that and it's all sort of coming out the ground. Yeah. So what no. size guns would these be? Six inches? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the shell was on rails. Yeah. Ah, so they carried the shell round on rails to yeah. load it into the muzzle on that little crane. Yeah. So uh, this is yeah. Napoleonic. Yeah. And then that Victorian. met the Victorian. Yeah, 1890s. And then that met the Second World War build here, which is the concrete yeah. that encompassed would these. Would there have been a door on these hinges? I think it's a little crane. Oh, it's a little crane. Ah, yeah, ah the loading crane, yeah, it Davids. looks like a davit. Yeah. Here. Uh, so they would have lifted the shell onto the little rail here, so. then brought it round yeah. to the breech loading gun yeah. from the Victorian times. And then this was all replaced in the dawn of the Second World War with breech loading quick firing guns. Wow. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. You must have scrapped them off the rails. But I behind you, that's the um the magazine. Ah, original magazine for the um, battery, Victorian battery. But in the um, Second World War they uh, installed a deep shelter. Oh, oh wow. But sadly you can't get in it, I don't think. No, it looks very locked. Yeah. But you see the plan there, what's not. So you see the, this is the uh, Victoria magazine here. So they just, in the Second World War, cut off of the corridor from the Victorian, went down and made a complex of tunnels. Wow. Wow, that'd be nice to get in there. Yeah. It's got 1890 uh, written above the door there, just about to see Oh yeah, it. just. VR. Put into this stone. Can you see that, viewers? Yeah, Sorry, the VR, and then 1890 below it. Don't know if that will show up. No. Let's have a look. See down there, down the torch. See a little bit. Yeah. But it goes around that corner, and it goes down a little further. Then you got left and right. Oh, that would be uh, amazing. It goes right there. down into the new shelter and the left goes to the magazine. Yeah. Cool. So many people keep breaking into this, they've really gone. Yeah. And Tower. the wrong type of people. Sorry? The wrong type of people. Yeah, sadly. Not explorers, just idiots. Yeah. Want to break things. I was told years ago that this, where it's demolished, where it's been pulled down, yeah. part of this, it was done by Ballstall boys. The Ballstall, Dover Ballstall up the yeah. yeah. But I don't know how true that is. I've, I've not found anything online about that. But they got the Ballstall boys to come down here saying the 50s, late 50s or 60s. And uh, t told them to dismantle that. To but remove that part? Yeah. I don't see the purpose unless they were planning on getting rid of all of it. Hard labour. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You just give them something to do, innit? Ah, yeah. because they could, not yeah. because they needed it. Yeah. 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 The other thing, around the top, you can see where the brickwork's quite bad. It was when it was built in the Second World War, they made it look like it was already like bomb damaged. Yeah, you see it better on the front. Really? The front. Yeah. Why would you do that? To make it look less like a gun battery, I think. Ah. Less likely to want to. 
it's all netted up as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, this isn't new, nothing to see here. That's the, that's the and that is the, yeah, six inch Mark 7, the gun there, the breech, the breech loading gun there. The BL 6 inch Mark 7 was a British naval gun dating from 1899. Three were selected for the mountains here for use as coastal defence. Although the guns used a cordite charge in a silk bag behind each round, it was found that this method was as fast to load and fire than the usually favoured QF type, which used a heavy brass shell. This also saved much needed space in magazines and handling of rounds was much easier due to the reduced weight. Primed and ready yeah. shells here. Yeah, if you have to worry about this, it smells of weed down here. You can't smell this, folks. No. They haven't designed tellies with smells yet, so lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the order of MCP car park. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got more, uh, that'll be for possibly coat hooks or something. Yeah. You can see where the hooks have been and they've been snapped off. Yeah, I've never noticed that before. Doesn't matter how many times you come back to a place. You always there's, always, there's always something new that's been spotted and the it's all painted white. They did this a lot in the Second World War, they painted things white. Yeah, it's like splits. Yeah. And Polonic as well, you'll see in the tunnels when we go in there. Oh wow, okay. It's all white, because yeah. you know, if they've got a candle or, or a lamp, you know, it reflects, white reflects. Um, yeah, it's amazing how much difference it makes. Yeah. So you see on the roads today, if it's been raining, the roads are black, aren't they? Yes. And the, the light, your headlights are soaked, soaked up. Yes. And I think America's got like sort of more sort of sandy coloured roads, haven't they? And it sort of reflects the light, so it's, mm. you can see clearer. Yeah. So if you have a look at the... Uh, Hello. There's Matthew going? Ferris. How's it going? You yeah. Right? Number nice one to meet Wow, yeah, it's set up and off, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good, you. Give me some skin. So this is St Martin's battery, and uh, shovels, guys. Shovels. yeah, we're just filming this today. As you, part of this part of this playlist is we're here with IKS Exploration. There's that one there. Number one fan. With his gear on. Yeah. <laughs> Chris went, nice to see you've made an effort. I'm like, but this is my wear. That is his wear. Yeah. yeah. Where's your t shirt? I literally didn't have time to do anything this morning. I don't know where that is. Can this is them? like the better IKS t shirt hoodie than yours. The high visibility yellow one, does that still exist? The uh, France trip. The what France trip the, hoodie. What did I wear? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yes, that yeah. still exists. Does it? Yes, it Excellent. does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah I know. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I've still got that. That's somewhere at home. The trousers within, I, I don't know where they are. I'm pretty sure a long time ago you was quite angry because I think Monica threw them away. No, she didn't. I'm sure she did because you said that it got to the point where there were so many holes in it you could like, see your box. No, no, I'm on about the ones that you bought that didn't fit me. <laughs> oh, no, Oh yeah, she threw them away. Right, yeah. back to history then. <laughs> anyway! <laughs> yeah, so I think I, st I think I started that. You can see the brickwork there. Sort of yes. looks like derelict, like bombed out. All of them have got the same thing on top of it. That almost redundant make... look about them. Yeah. Like a bit of camouflage, you know. So I don't know what, it, from the sky, you know, this had netting over the guns I suppose and stuff. Proper. Yeah, if they netted it up. So, yeah. yeah, what Ian's saying there, just off camera, um, Chris was saying, they built the, this was Victorian, then they built into, they rebuilt it in the Second World War with modern guns, but they built the tops of the gun positions to look like they were all sort of bombed out and disused to disguise the fact that they were operational. Yeah. That's quite, yeah, it's unique, isn't it? It's nice. Very unique well, indeed. Never, Really, you know, there's a place we went to uh, last year in uh, Suffolk, anti-aircraft battery, and on top of the magazines, it was like a, a bitumen, but in the bitumen they put rocks, like right. in different places, so it looked sort of, yes. you know, it's, it's interesting to see some that of this It is interesting, yeah, I've never, I've never seen that before, oh. to do it in such a way. I don't know if the, you can see it clearer on the other one, there's this Yeah, we'll have a look, there's Dover Castle there, viewers. Oh yeah, it's, it's all different as well. 
Yeah, yeah they sort of shaped it and built it like that. Yeah. That is very interesting to build that on top of the concrete structure to blend it all in. Because if you didn't know any better, you'd think that something was up there but it's been demolished. Yes, which I did. I thought, oh, there'd been a searchlight position or something. Yeah. They bashed it to bits to get the searchlights down, but yeah, that's been purposely done like that. So another one of the mounts there. Ciao. So these, I suppose these guns were for, for shooting at ships. They weren't yeah. for like, these guns wouldn't have reached France or anything like that. No. The German batteries, these are just more coastal. Yeah. Coastal defence. Yeah. You know, you've got Todd and all that. Those batteries actually. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Were they Wind bombarding Dover then? Yeah. Totally. Wow. You used to get air raid warnings for shell, or shell warnings. You could hit, apparently you could hear a gun go off in France. Yeah. And you could count so many seconds. You know where it's going to hit. Scary. You know where. That was really scary. Scary times, yeah. You don't know where it's going to land. No. But yeah. Oh, wow. Dover, frontline town, Dover. So over there, that's a drop redoubt fort. Yep. Uh, so it's, it's blocked at the moment though, because it's um, like uh, English Heritage own it, I think. And there's uh, Western Heights Preservation Society look after it. Yep. So they've got the key, so we can't see that unfortunately. But okay. Yeah, that's the Grandjaff Barracks down there. Would have been. Uh, they pulled it down in the 60s, but they used it when they were pulling it down. They used it as a set for the war game. You know that film, Peter Hopkins, I think it is? Yeah. In like the 60s, when the, uh, the country had been attacked by nuclear weapons and they were using the derelict Grand Shaft Barracks as like a bombed out town. Right That's down there, viewers. Down there, was it? Yeah. See where the road swerves around? It's like that yes. swerving around the buildings. There would have been lines. Wow. You get how many four lines, I think, that went up the bank? Yeah. Uh, the Grand Shaft Barracks. Sad they got rid of that. That is very, that is, that is a great shame. So that's for looking down pretty much from that, so you've got the lines of... I would have loved to have walked shaft. around that. That's the fort, we pointed out. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. You think if that survived to now, yeah. that would have been flats or something like that. And yeah, you get a lot of accommodation in that. Yeah. They're now putting a, a potential a memorial there, aren't they? Right. They have yeah. some massive, which is a good idea, but the problem is it's like a massive sheet of concrete. It seems like there's too much concrete, which I didn't feel there was much need for. Could have been a little less, but they've done these plans that was in the Mercury. Is that still happening though? Well, it's it's not been axed or anything, so I don't know if it's definite. Could still be a thing then. Mm. So it's basically where the barracks were, so it's yeah. meant to be replaced. That, but it's like a huge area of memorial. Yeah. There's so much concrete, I'm thinking, sure you could minimalise that a little bit. Make it look Put a bit nicer. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. There's that uh, pillbox. So, so, you know what top that was? Can't remember. 23, I think. It does say up here, so <laughs> I'll yeah, correct again, myself in a moment. Night sort of things happen in there as well, sadly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, type 23. Yeah. Because these were like an anti aircraft one. See, they've got a. Got the gun on that. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple up here. I've seen. There's up Western Heights mm. over near Citadel batteries, a couple of them either side of the battery. So, this was like an elevated gun mount, so you'd mount the. We've gone on top of this to have a clear view. Shoot the old yeah. paint. sandbags around the top of it as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah netted up. Try and disguise it as best you can. Yeah. Yeah, it's a noise gun, that bit looks of it. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's got a drum magazine on top. Oh, wow. I've, uh, the last time I had Lewis gun was when I was watching Dad's Army. Yeah. I had a Lewis gun. Is that the one where they're aiming at the German? Is yeah. That the Lewis gun. The big yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. That's it. Yeah. So well, you, you've seen it. That's inside. inside. Just say so, Daddy. Is then you just translate. All right. This was the <laughs> firing position. So we can see out here is part of the port area. Now out of this window we can see Dover Castle and the other side of Dover and the white cliffs there. So we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And obviously check out Ian's channel. I'll leave a link below to Arcase Exploration. Bye bye for now. Looking over my shoulder Looking back at your door Goes over and over Should I leave or want it more?
Look 